Hey y'all, it's Molly with Mini Acres, and I have a wee bit of an earlier morning video for you. Can you see what I did? So, I never did show y'all when I pulled up the rest of the potatoes, but I got another small harvest, and then I got an idea of something to do with the rest of my concrete blocks. So you can see I extended my little bed. So, for one, this was just unused space, and I really wanted to make a better use of it. For two, I had more stuff to plant. And for three, I wanted to try moving some of my ginger and turmeric out of this more shady spot over to this more sunny spot. So let's take a look at what I planted this morning. So I put a piece of ginger here that was starting to sprout, has some good um, growth on it and a couple of small pieces of turmeric that looked like they still had some life in them. And then I put seeds here for my chives. And I put seeds here for the Pacific Beauty Colangula. And I put seeds here for the red corn poppies. I have no idea if I should be direct sowing these seeds or how well they'll do. This is me just, you know, experimenting like I do. I planted my hidden ginger that my cousin gave me right here. My gorgeous lavender. Look at her. I am so afraid of killing her. I've killed so many lavenders over the years. I am just expecting her to die. So she's in a sort of shady, sort of sunny spot. It says full sun, but they don't mean full sun, face of the sun, blazing sun. 47 hours of sun so we're gonna leave her here and see if she likes it here um, I put some snapdragon seeds back here look my time I was so excited about I've already basically tried to kill it it just was not happy in that little pot my perpetuo variegated basil. I put it closer to the shade because I'm hoping that'll help it stay more variegated. And then two swish chards that just refused to die. I just stuck them in over here so in this sort of shady spot maybe they'll live. And um, I don't know maybe I should go ahead and harvest off of them and see if that helps them, encourages them to keep growing. We'll see. These sad little zinnias I have been splitting up all of those zinnias that were growing in a cluster to give them more room. And some of them are doing well. Some of them are thickening up in their stems. Some of them don't look so hot, but it's fine. My Hishiko green onions, I already harvested off of them. You can see where I, I cut off of them and they have shot up more growth like crazy. So I should go ahead and harvest that too. And my leeks, my leeks are starting to get some thickness to them so we're just gonna leave them here hope for the best so this is my current little mini project ish type dealio I need more compost I need all the compost in the world all right that's my current little miniature update one little happy spot I like it I'm pleased with it see y'all later